strange thing that this old wall see that was one of the strangest is only the other day it happened right hey unity for sure Four feet above the head. You understand? Everybody living on this coast, living with the Atlantic, on top of the head. This part, wash over, magic, and more than discovery. And then sleep me. Between we and this ocean, we have this wall drawing a line. Between a ocean of land and a ocean of water. So when big wash come, stick and brick. It's not enough. It's like taking car web for catch time. And like we are nothing right now in the quarantine. Man, woman, child, waist deep in water from the river pouring through the dam. Last night, I um, got over there. He wake up there, children, went sleeping, and they put the mattress on the ground. Mm -hmm. And when I wake up, there was in sheer water. Come out, sir. Water is too much. It was higher. To here. What are you going to see? You see, they had a lot of trees out there, right? The trees were keeping back the water. And the trees, the through the water, flowing all the time, years and years and years going back. So the water here don't move of the trees and they didn't have a sea wall. They had a dam. And the dam breakway through during this high tide that is on now. 
that is the cause for this flood. And you know, if, it was, if more care and attention was paid to it, it wouldn't have been like this. In this country, right, we know we are a low-lying area. And the sea, sea defense is one of the most important areas you're supposed to look into. Well, this is like a, like when you got a foot, a one-legged man, you as a one-legged man, you have to adjust yourself to live with that one leg. So we are doing the same here. This beach is an old, is an old sick because every day the water progen and progen and progen and nobody to repair. And then it collapsed like that. All over, right through. If you go up Crab Creek where you see it. And you walk at the back, come back, you see the whole place breaking. Just at the back of the estate, over this side, and the, from the stelling, you see everything break up. So we can't do nothing now, we just have to wait. And this is the best thing we can do, sit and wait. In actual fact, in March, with the very high tides, there was water rising out about four feet within the residential area, flowing through the houses and everything. Quite a lot of livestock was lost in the area. You know, pit latrines and everything were flooded and turned over. People have lost quite a lot of things in the, res the residential area here right now. <laughs> We've got a period of six weeks to complete this assignment out here. But for the time being, um, we are using the less critical area to drive the pilots because we need a pontoon to go into the very critical area. It, because of the excessive rainfall, we are not able to get down to the critical area. We've got now a distance of 900 feet of sea defense to be constructed out here. Once more, ancient battle giant. Again and again. From time immemorial. Today crack is tomorrow breach. All along the coast, the wall crumbling from neglect. Matthew. Has Mr. Worthy come in as yet? No, sir. He asked me to mention to you he's gone to Mr. Fraser for a horse, but he'll be back in good time for dinner. Well, I was hoping to check some figures with him this afternoon, but it can wait until after dinner. Thank you, Matthew. <laughs> A very good day to you, Miss Daglish. Not too hot to work, I see. Not at all, sir. It's been wonderfully quiet here with everyone out. I've actually managed to finish those corrections for the Tiger Island report. Would you like me to address it to Mr. Hassel now for yes, you? Yes, please do. Has to get it early, deadlines and all that. Yeah, indeed, sir. Did last week's issue arrive? Hassel promised to send one over to catch me here. And I saw some things being delivered at Mr. Tyson's down the road. Yes, in fact, it came just after you left. I put it on the desk. Hmm. Yeah. Now, let's see what Hassel made of it. 
uh, with a view to dispel some of the ignorance which exists both in the mother country and also in our midst. And there's a lot of it, Miss Daglish, believe me. Oh, good. He got in the piece about the scoop wheel at Hampton Court. <laughs> Miss Daglish, this may all be Greek to you, but I wish you could have seen those, those 50-foot drainage canals. Oh, they were perfect. The way they, they ran right out to the sea with the caisson sluices. It was spectacular. I saw it at sunset as the tide was falling. I was very interested in how they, they used the stone blocks to break the force of the waves before they could strike the sluices and the dams. That, that will be the sea defense system of the future, Miss Daglish. Progress is being made in the colony. That much is certain. I am glad to hear that there is progress. But is it progress for everybody? or just for the planters? Oh, everybody will benefit in the long run if the planters make progress. Although it is true that not enough is being done for the villages. You know, I went to a meeting last March in Canal Number no. 1 at Geneva School. The whole meeting dealt with sea defense. People were very angry that the government was only spending money where it suited the planters. Uncle's friends are a selfish lot, and they seem to control everything. There is a lot of suffering in the villages. It's no wonder the people are agitated. I overheard Emily speaking just the other day and saying how the floods have ruined everything. Their poultry, their livestock, the kitchen gardens, even the flowers are dying. Something must be done to help these people. They certainly cannot afford to build these fabulous works I hear you enthusing over. But do go on. Now where are we? At Tamoth Manor. Ah, yes, Tamoth Manor. The sea was a very disagreeable neighbor to Tamoth Manor for many years. And many of us remember the late Mr. Barlow's quaint advertisement for a certain number of thousands of tons of rock stones to make a barrier for it. Mr. Pittman, the representative of Tamoth Manor, attempted to keep out Neptune by a system of well-bound groins uh, in timber, similar to what is to be seen doing good service on the English coast at Worthing and other places where the sea has to be kept out. Now, have you got all that? Ah, here comes your uncle now. Well, there we are. But thank goodness we've got some decent horses around. Otherwise, I don't know what the devil we'd do, frankly. Boy. Well, thank you again, Fraser. It's been a good day. And thank you particularly for offering me the mare. Now, don't forget, this evening for dinner, usual time. Seven. Seven. Hello, Matthew. So, it's not been a bad day. Damn swamp. But I got that mare off him. And he's coming to dinner. With a screen of granite blocks, laid rip up on top of a mattress. Still scribbling away on the chat. Hello, Anna. I hope you're not getting in my friend's way now. Where's that boy? Oh, Anna, I met Mr. Fraser. He'll be joining us for dinner. He found the ocean still forcing itself in upon him. So he, with sound judgment, uh, decided Dance upon defending on. the whole facade of Tamoth Manor from Kapui Creek to a fine sideline with a screen. I hope you tell those fools in town exactly what is happening on the estates. This place is simply sucking up money. Don't let me interrupt you. Is the bath run, boy? <laughs> Never mind your uncle. He loves to complain. <laughs> Some estates are certainly modernizing rapidly, and, and, and it seems to me that they are beginning to. to to master the sea defense problem.
since last year this bridge they are on and we asked from the government to do it and up to now they can't, it's now they're starting and a lot of farmers are suffering. Thousands of acres of land has been lying down idle. People cannot plant the crop. 30 years what I work for has been destroyed. Everything loose, you cannot do nothing because of this water. Nobody expect here now to do anything for this crop. They're just waiting on this city fence to repair. The sea is so much powerful with the breeze that if a little piece open and you don't remedy it at the set time, it's gone. You cannot stop it. Sit through the breeze, the whole dam machine, you can't even mash the race. You can't even go from back of the dam. The tractor can't go from back of the dam, the tractor can't go from front of the dam. So we got a 35 acre race here now. That's how we reach here. I got a party for take it, I can't take it out. Parimash, amash, it will Serious condition. Serious. Serious. For the past seven weeks, we are under this condition. Three feet and over water, all over in, in, in the factory, in the boiler house, in the engine room. Under this condition, we can operate the mill. About four to five hundred bags of paddy will rotten. We asked the farmers to come and get it out to dry it. But when they go in, they, they, it was so bad, they can't get it out. It's everything that we have to move from there and put it high up from the water. This is the engine down there for to drive the hauler. It was under two feet water and over for the past seven weeks. Morning and afternoon tide is so high. People get so fed up and frustrated, they don't know what to do. It's all over, it's water, water, all the time is water, water for the past seven weeks. Well, only today we can get, um, today we get it to stop. Well, I don't know what will happen next. Back. You see it? All the greens they had at the back, all finished. Everything finished out. <laughs> the diseases that we have now. It's only diarrhea and vomiting that people coming in with. Yeah, the portable water from the lines, at least from the, the pipelines and so on, all get contaminated. Eh? Uh -huh. And so the, the people got sick. Just some work at Denim. And we competed with nearly 300 feet. And still has some more to do. Mm -hmm. We are going to retrieve here. Eh? There's a lot to do also. And what is needed is, is materials. But right now, I'm, I'm short of materials. Yes, you're short of materials. If not, this will just jump to be completed since yesterday. Well, this is the next far along as a bridge, call it mini bridge. splendid fear before, I'm sure that well, the night will be no exception. I'm famous for wines too, you know. And I'm sure it's Mr. It's not Rodin's hard to remember one. that this place was once all uh, swamp uh, and slime. Uh, it's all we need, really. Flooding, mud everywhere. 
You know, I sometimes think that this blasted country is cursed. Not really fit for human habitation, I always say. Everybody's talking about the new developments at Anna Regina. Is it true that Morse has spent as much as 70,000 pounds over the last four years? Oh, at least. Judging from the conditions of the land, they must have the finest works in the colony. They make no less than 2,520 tons a crop. It's a success story, all right. And they're handling their labor force very successfully. Skillful handling be damned. The coolies are no better than the slaves. We ought to send them back when we are finished with them. Ship the whole lot back. The real cause is our stupid immigration policy. And I've told them so in time. I don't really like what I hear about this new man they've sent here as governor, Irving. I hear he is a damned meddler. Now, the sea dam is going again. I don't think they'll survive the next wash. I suppose I'll have to retire it again. Sorry about this, Fraser, but you'll have to move yours back as well. Anyway, how are they getting on up the coast? As a matter of fact, I was just describing in my article how expensive it was to lay granite boulders in a screen along the sea dam. But nothing else is working. It's costing hundreds of thousands to keep the sea out. I mean, recently at Cornelia Ida, they did some splendid work, but the sea keeps causing havoc. Every tide threatens to swamp out the land, but the, the manager is not sitting idle. Mr. Cragen and his neighbors are working and fighting very, very hard. I dare say that Neptune will find it no easy battle to extend his dominion. Coca controlling everything. How much water to keep in? And how much water to let up? It's Dutchman science. When tide wash in, the gate has to come down to keep the sea out. When tide fall in, the gate has to raise up, shut the water behind the door back up. When coca broke, a lantern one. It was because of the age of the wall, the slope crumbled, collapsed, and the earth started to, the water started to wash away the earth from under the wall. It undermined. A cavity was formed and the wall just collapsed. The weight of the wall brought it down, mm -hmm. together with the force of the water during spring tides. Mm -hmm. This wall is about 50 years old. 50 years old. In fact, more, because if you could see, the wall was there previously, mm -hmm. up to that level. And then an additional wall was put on top of it. Mm -hmm. As the foreshore um, goes lower, the water tends to get higher. Mm -hmm. And it would uh, overtop the walls. Well, right now, we are packing these boulders along the slope here, which we intend to go along the entire stretch. Mm -hmm. That's the most we could do with the limited resources we have.
Ray of Beast has gone back to sleep. That is the time when man can come out again to harvest what the sea has left behind. To worship and carry on the daily struggle of survival. Yeah. Worship and struggle.
Every time I fire, you go with it. 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 Tides come and go, falling and washing, washing and falling. Sometime immemorial, falling and washing with the moon. It is wall. Hola. 
and dead all of we dead this all go would wash away like the old plantation Only this wall could talk. Talk about the days when George Dunwallis used to walk the daughters up and down the wall by Kingston, looking for prospects. Girls in the Sunday best. Girls brushed up and groomed up. Birds in lovely feather, and the mother's not far behind, vigilant that she can hawk, scouring the ground, swooping, checking tactics, looking for rivals. And when the night comes. A place to love up and lie down. Cool concrete. Sea breeze rippling through the clothes, and the song that we wave far away. All through the war time period, the world was busy. Up and down, driving, gathering, walking, politics in the air. Soldiers and sailor boys from outside, free and easy in Georgetown, and only the wall keeping the watch out. That bring the sailor boys, white boys far from home, girls. Of many colors, until one day when a terrible thing happened. A terrible thing come to pass. Put a blight on the wall for years to come. No more preening and parading. Wall empty like graveyard. Only jumpy walking. That was the day they discovered the body of a girl. The word was, it says, a prostitute from one of the houses in town. All cut up and battered up, like a piece of debris that the sea tossed against the rock and wash up onto the walls during the night. The investigation pointed to some foreign sailors who pick up the girl, bring her to the wall, and rape and moderation pass. The violence at the sea, it get in the blood. Sometimes it's like the sea calling for sacrifice. As if the sea make this wall into an altar. Why bring me here?
to this wall of dreams, of nightmares, mysteries, murders, strange, strange happenings. What ancient memories bind us here between ceremonies and we worship. Forgiveness or us. All our weakness thou dost know. Thou didst tread this earth before us. Thou didst feel its keenest word. unto your master's name. As we relax and we let go, knowing that you are in charge and all. <laughs>
this show, we continue ceremony by the water sign to make sure we don't forget. Offer it to the Almighty. Who else can guarantee survival? And at this wall, at the edge of a whole continent, We remember everything, we dream everything. Sure.